Leo, welcome to your general love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. So I'm so happy to announce I will be increasing videos. <laughs> more, 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 more videos, more messages. I hear you, honey. I hear you. I'm working on it. In fact, I will be incorporating a new round of videos and that will be full once a month check-ins like for the whole so like leo january 2021 so those first rounds will be out christmas week i'm looking forward to it i will continue to do sexual tarot i will continue to do career and finance general love readings the idea is to add more yeah and that's exactly what i'm doing so thank you so much for your ongoing support and um you know the channel is just growing and i love it I absolutely love it. So thank you so much. All right. What's going on for that Leo energy? Keep an eye out for that community page when I give more details about it. Okay. What's going on for Leo? Show me what I need to see, please, for Leo. What's going on for Leo, please? What's going on for Leo? Show me what I need to see, please, for Leo. What's, let's do one more. That feels about right. Show me what I need to see, please, for Leo. Okay. What's going on, please? Show me what's going on for Leo, please. What's going on for Leo? Take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your story, don't force it to fit. You'll only make yourself miserable trying, yeah? Sometimes it's a good thing when they don't resonate, but when they do, let me know. What's going on, please? What's going on for Leo, please? What's going on for Leo? Show me what I need to see, please, for Leo. What's going on? Mm -hmm. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, specifically. We say that out of courtesy, but the kings often represent the fixed signs, so here we have possibly Taurus, okay? But, for the most part, you being grounded, stable, looking upon something, what are you watching? What's going on, please? What's going on, please? What else? What's backing that King of Pentacles energy? What's going on there? Something's trying to come out. Page of Cups, possibly extending an offer? Possibly. I prefer jumpers, to be honest with you. I don't like pulling from the top pile. That's just a reader preference thing. It's different to everybody. What else What else is going on, please? What else is going on, please? Hmm. Looking at this Ten of Swords, looking upon an ending, contemplating it, trying to understand it from a practical, grounded standpoint. King of Pentacles looking upon this Ten of Swords. I don't know that that's you. I don't know. Could be. Could be. Reverse energy as it applies always. What else, please? Looking at this Ten of Swords, the ending from a practical standpoint, trying to examine it, trying to understand it. What else? What else, please? What else is going on? Somebody's trying to understand this Ten of Swords. What about it? Show me this Ten of Swords, please. King for King. Oh my. King of Swords. King of Pentacles. Well, no. Just in case there's any confusion here, there's two people examining the same ending. Somebody's coming from a practical standpoint, someone from an analytical standpoint. Neither one of you is in the heart space, or even a place of fire. Practical, analytical. The both of you, two kings, sex relevant tarot, switch out the sexual energy as Zeusy fit, are looking upon this ending, this ten of swords between you two. Are we over or not? Either way, the both of you are kind of detached. Both of you are quiet. It's like a, it's like a standoff, but a quiet one. That could change upon clarification. It may not be so quiet. That's, wow. King for king. So you both seem to have equal power here, but different points of view. No fire. What's currently going on? What's currently going on? We're all in different timelines on tarot. This might have already happened for you. Others of you, this is yet to be. What's currently going on for Leo, please? What's currently going on for Leo, please? What's currently going on for Leo, please? Mm-hmm. Three of Pentacles. Trying to make things work, should you? Is that the question? What's currently? What else is currently going on? What's currently going on? This energy is so interesting for you. So interesting for you. Not that you can't be in a sword space, and not that you can't be in a pentacle space, but it's still different. So, me, what's currently going on for Leo, please? We gotta figure this shit out. Eight of Swords. 
two of pentacles. We'll take this other one that flew out on the table. Okay. Do we make this work or not? So, those two kings are having a standoff, all right, my friend. What's the decision? Even I want to know. Even I want to know. What are we doing? Ten of Swords, is this thing over or not? Somebody's not giving in, or neither one of you are divulging your thoughts, but you both have sort of an equal status. Okay. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, you're both still not making a decision. There's a slight in inclination there, but let's put it this way, I'm not being blown away by it either. Um, there's such a... There's... What am I trying to say? Indifference. There's an indifference here. Like, I'm seeing two people who are like, we should probably try out of practicality to make this work, but nobody seems to be terribly interested. It's all low level. Equal, but low level. I, there seems to be a severe detachment here about making this thing work. I don't see anybody taking inclination yet, which is interesting for you. Okay. I'm kind of in a stalemate with your person, and there's... Trust me, there's two people involved in this. We have two pinnacles, two of wands. There cannot not be two people here. I do believe there's a sense of obligation to try to make this work, whatever this is, but it's low level and it doesn't seem to be fully engaged. Okay. One of you might be feeling more inclined than the other to make this work, but again, I insist that both of you don't seem to be terribly interested in it. There's no sense of urgency here, even with that two of wands, because the two of pinnacles suggest otherwise. So... We gotta make a decision, but ain't nobody rushing. It's more like a sense of obligation. We should probably try to make this work on a practical value, but nobody's doing anything. I mean, this this amounts to jack, okay, in terms of action. What's the future, please? What's the future, please, for Leo? What's that future looking like for Leo, please? What's that future looking like for Leo, please? This is interesting. I want to know. I, I'm dying to know what that face-off is about. Show me that future, please. Ace of Wands. That's better. Finally, I see some more dominant fire from you. We got a little itty-bitty bit right there. Okay. A decision is made, I hope. A way to go. A strong new direction. It could be with this person. And there's a renewed sense of vigor. For it, or you might be going another way altogether, huh? I don't think you're inclined to make this work. Somebody's not very inclined to make this work. They feel disengaged from that sense of passion. I'm not feeling it. It's not just about passion as in sex. Okay, that really irritates me. <laughs> it's the spark, it's the vigor, it's the inclination to get out into the world. That's what fire is, because it's happening in the here and now. It's present-oriented. It lives in the here and now. Fire does. Okay. Somebody cannot feel the fire. The lack of inclination to try is not there. Let's keep going. So somebody, one or the both of you. What else is currently going on? Oh, I'm sorry, future. Show me the future. One more for that future, please. Something. See, something's trying to... I need a stronger one, please. For, okay. Something is decided. Ace of Swords. Two concepts of new. Passion for the past, to reinvigorate, to try again, or hope for a future, a new way. A new thought, a new action. Ace of Swords. Could be thought or action or a combination of the two. This sword implies either. Hopefully you're not stuck between these two concepts. I hope a decision is made because, Leo, honey, you can't live in that. You can't live in that energy, honey. That's just not who you are. That's not who you are. Perspective about bringing this thing together. Yes, I know. I can see you're working through it. And your person. It's not just you. They do, too. I just don't know how much either of you are expressing it. That's what's interesting. And again, it's almost boredom here. I'm in boredom, but just like I said, indifference. Like, I don't even know if I want to try. Do you want to try? That's what these two kings are trying to figure out.
What's going on here? What's going on here? Somebody need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Leo. Okay, let's check this out. Like I said, I'm not terribly convinced that King of Pentacles is you, but it could be. Show me, because I just, air and, air, here's why I say that. Air and fire are much more compatible. One feeds the other. So I could see you being more of the King of Sword than I can the Pentacle, but could be the other way around. Show me that King of Pentacles, please. Show me that King of Pen Okay. Somebody is not letting go. They're still healing. Okay. Somebody has expressed that to the King of Pentacles. I'm trying to let this go, but I'm struggling with it. Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles, Judgment, King of Sword, and Four of Wands. I do believe that King of Swords is you expressing to this king of pentacles i don't know if i were to summarize this i don't know i'm still trying to work shit out i'm trying to let this thing go i'm trying to not make an early judgment call i'm trying not to do the incorrect thing i need more time to think that's what i feel like you were expressing to this king of pentacles this is like the receiving end of the conversation that's how i'm seeing it that's how i'm hearing it so before I get into that Ten of Swords, I actually want to see the King of Swords. What's going on there? Show me that King of Swords, please. I'll get back to that Ten of Swords, I promise you that. Show me the King of Swords, please. I want to see. I feel like this King of Pentacles is listening to you talk. Show me that King of Swords. Okay. Do I still have passion? Are you still my truth? Ace of, uh, Ace of Wands, do I still have confidence in you? There's your fire. Told you. King of Swords is you, honey. You are contemplating your own sense of fire for this thing. Are you still my pathway, Ace of Wands? Do I still have confidence in you, Six of Wands? Do I still have confidence in us? Do, by the way, do I still have passion for you? You were thinking about this from a cold headspace. How, it's like you're doing an energy check-in with yourself. How is my fire for you? So on the receiving end, whoever this person is, this King of Pentacles, is on the receiving end, you know, uh, King of Pentacles, I don't know. I'm trying not to make an early judgment call. I'm not letting go of my thoughts just yet. I'm still working through it. That's what they've heard. You and your internal quiet self, okay, you're understanding or trying to understand your passion from an analytical King of Swords space, detached. It's like you're trying not to put passion into it, but that's honestly, that's your underlying base or concern. Do I still feel the same way about you? Do I still have fire for you? Do I still have fire for us? Show me this Ten of Swords, please. Show me this Ten of Swords. Okay. It's low. The Knight of Pentacles. It feels like there's an ending between you two and it's slow as hell. I feel like this King of Pentacles is kind of waiting you out for more direction from you or what your decision is. Do you still love them? Do you still have fire for them? They have interpreted your conversation as I'm giving you time and space to heal, that you're not trying to make a, a too quick of a decision here. But it does seem like you are leaning towards an ending as opposed to making this work it's just so slow i don't know how aware of it you are and then your your person on the receiving end isn't either they still think you're working through some shit, and you are before you make your final decision anything else about that ten of swords please anything else about that ten of swords please it's okay honey Burdens, of course. Burdens of choice, i.e. relationships and careers. That which we put our energy into because we chose to do it. Nobody told you to. But one, it's it's like a high game stake of poker in here. Okay, people are wearing their masks. You haven't taken your mask off. You haven't revealed your personal truth yet. You're not ready to. You're still cooking back here. Okay, you're still cooking your thoughts and your feelings. Okay, this person is patiently waiting for you. Um, and it's slow. It feels like the decision is riding on you about whether or not you still have feelings for this person. This person, this King of Pentacles, is waiting patiently. I see it. I see how they've interpreted your conversation, and they're giving you space and time and energy that you need to work your shit out. You're contemplating your fire, but you are not releasing that into the world. Do I still have feelings for you, in other words? And it's a burden. It's a fucking burden. It's moving slow as hell, so you two have been kind of like in this kind of stalemate for a while. Nobody seems to be rushed, okay? But the decision is looking like it's already made. I just think you haven't arrived to it yet. Okay, which is 
kind of explains this bit right here. Show me this three of pentacles, please. Show me this three of pentacles, please. Do I still love you? Do I still have hope for us? Because again, fire is hope. Okay, the sense of light that gives us a way to operate in the world to see hope. Do I still have hope for us? Do I still have hope for you? Do I have hope for me? Show me that three of pentacles, please. Show me, okay, six of swords. I think you're moving away from this idea of making it work. I just don't know how aware of it you are. Um, oh, God. I th why am I looking at a Leo who wants to find themselves? I'm not convinced that Empress is your person. Could be. Could be. I feel like you want to get back into a state of yourself, and you don't know if you want to include this person anymore. Show me this Eight of Swords, please. Show me that Eight of Swords, please. I'm just not convinced that that's your person. Typically when I see the Empress, it's that kind of ultimate love attachment. This is my partner for life kind of energy. I'm just not convinced that that's your person. I feel like you want to work on discovering yourself. Six of Swords to the Empress. I do. Show me that Eight of Swords, please. Show me that Eight of Swords, please. Show me that Eight of Swords, please. I have to tell you that it just feels so alien. This process feels so alien to me. For you. Okay. Ten of Swords. See, I told you. It's still there at the back of your mind. So the decision has not been made yet. It's lingering. You have a desire in you to... I'm telling you. I'm looking at Leo who wishes to rediscover themselves. Who wishes to rediscover their personal empress. Typically, that's the person. The person that we love ultimately and unconditionally. You have a sense of not being in love with yourself again. I, I know that sounds weird. Yeah, I just, King of Swords contemplating your own fire for this person, for the relationship. And it's kind of like you just, it's kind of like you're learning, I need to rediscover me. Let's, let's take this relationship out of the equation and I need to think about me for a minute. Am I truly happy? Am I a life force? Am I a life bringer? I feel like you want to work on rediscovering yourself. I see Renaissance periods for people all the time. But chance for rediscovery so you can better understand your direction but you still haven't made a decision about this while you rediscover yourself okay you still have yet to make a decision but it just seems inevitable doesn't it you're not willing to deal with it just yet or declare it I should say show me that two of pent okay that's better you are going back and forth about who you really are and what it is that you really want and does it include this person anymore. But that's better. It's nice to see you again, Leo, and King of Wands. You're juggling your truth. Okay, fine. That's what I see here. You seem to understand a little bit more every day that the ending is inevitable and they're waiting on you to make the official declaration. Two of Wands, maybe that's the decision then. Show me the Two of Wands. Show me the Two of Wands. It doesn't have to be the decision. It can also be, again, a learning period for some people. Show me that. Okay. You love this person, but you're still insisting that you're not ready to make the decision. That's unfortunate. I think it's inevitable, though. I do. This was obviously a soul bond. I'm going to go ahead and take a guess. This is a higher level commitment. This is not someone you've been dating for a couple weeks or a couple months. You opened with the King of Swords. This is your person, the King of Pentacles. Okay. It's taking you... This is, this is why. This is why. This is why. This is why it's taking so long, honey. This is why it's taking so long. You want to make sure that you are going to make this decision from the correct place, i.e. you're getting back in touch with yourself. You want the pathway that is correct for you, but that means you also want to come from a better viewpoint. You don't want to be the King of Swords when you make this decision. You want to be the Empress. You want to be the King of Wands again. And that makes sense, because that would explain why I'm seeing a rediscovery period of self. You want to make sure that you are in your correct space, your correct fire, your correct point of view before you go make these major decisions. Because now we've got two, 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 juggle, juggle, juggle. Two of Cups. Yes, I have a soul contract with this person. Uh, but a decision needs to be made. You know it's going to be time to stop juggling here and make a decision. The The more you discover yourself, the more obvious the outcome seems to be. Okay. You 
I'm gonna go ahead and take a guess. You lost yourself in this this commitment, okay? And you don't trust yourself to make a decision here. You don't. You're trying, but you don't trust yourself to make that decision. Your person, to their credit, seems to understand and respect that. But it seems like um, this ending is delayed, and it's burdensome, and you also know what the truth is in the back of your mind. And the more you become reacquainted with yourself, the stronger the outcome seems to be. But you're still struggling. This was a higher level commitment. I'm going to go ahead and take a guess. Okay. I think you got lost in this relationship in the context of Leo and who you are. Um, that's it. And you're rediscovering yourself. And it's slow and it's painful, but it's also firm as hell and it's very directive. It's beautiful. Your rediscovery period. But here in the back of your mind, that ending over that Eight of Swords, you know. You know. You're going to declare it. I just, I just know you. You're going to declare it, honey. The stronger you become again on yourself, okay, the more capable you will be making a decision. And I know you want to make the right one, and you want it to come from the correct place. So to your credit, lovely, you are fixing yourself before you make this decision, in other words. Um, good. Good. You want the decision to come from a correct place. Not the King of Swords space. You want to get back to who you are, okay? So yeah. I'm not going to lie, that ending is hovering, it's hovering, and it's hovering, and it's painful, and it's difficult. It's going to be painful you, it's going to be painful your person. But the Ten of Swords is here twice, plus the Ten of Wands, not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not exactly helping the situation either, okay? The more you get back in touch with yourself, the stronger your direction, but you still got to deal with this shit, honey. The twos, and the twos, and the twos, it's lingering. Some of that Ace of Wands, please, some of that Ace of Wands, please, some of that Ace of Wands, please, for the future. There's some of that Ace of Wands, please. You are getting back in touch with yourself. Queen of Cups. Okay. How so? Why? Why is the Queen of Cups here? Show me the Queen. Okay. I think you realized your emotions for this person are now blocked, or you have finalized it. You're not going to allow yourself to feel that wand. Okay. This. The pathway to my future is no longer in the past. Okay. You're fending off those emotions. Okay. It's... It's done. I already kind of saw you. You already knew the ending, Leo, honey. I just... I think you wanted the ending to come from a correct place before you acted on it. Which I understand. It makes perfect sense. But you're not allowing yourself to feel those feelings of that particular pathway anymore. Some of that five of pentacles. Yeah, they're still juggling struggling with this. They want to take action towards it. Okay. So yeah, it's looking like you made your decision at some point. Okay. Okay. You are expressing, it's causing you conflict, but you are expressing your intent to move forward. Okay. Here you are acting as that you put down what looks like a critical conversation regarding your thoughts. The stuff that had you all mentally bound up for a long time, and you expressed that you were moving forward. There's the Empress with the Six of Swords again. You're making your declarations here, and somebody does feel abandoned by the energy. You were going to express that this was not an easy decision to make, nor was it, that you juggled with it and struggled with it for some time. You did try to take action towards it, but you didn't want to move forward until the timing was right. And uh, a sense of fairness here. But you are feeling a great deal better. You, personally. I see, again, the Empress and the Six of Swords is here twice. You feel a lot better. A lot more empowered. Okay? And you're going to express to this person why it was such a struggle and why it took so long. You will express your regret and that you are sorry. But the Ace of Wands is no more. The Queen of Cups with this is no more. You are not allowing yourself to feel the passion or the feelings for this person anymore. You have made your declaration. There's your truth again. Show me Ace of Swords, too. Show me that Ace of Swords, please. You will resume working. Eight of Pentacles. Perhaps some of you literally did pick up work, and that was part of your freedom process to get back to work in order to feel better about yourself and a sense of direction and to have productivity. As for some of you, that might literally have meant you acquiring more finances meant your freedom or independence? I'm not sure. What else, please? Uh, but other than that, your strong sense of truth is production, stability, 
a stronger sense of self. You're not relying on, this is why you wanted to get back to a correct state of being Leo. Okay, so your decision was coming from the correct place. A, a decision made in self-empowerment, not, not in feeling bad or feeling disconnected from your partner. You wanted to be correct first before you did this, okay? Um, but yes, you're making it very, very clear. You're drawing several lines in the sands, not one, but several. That pathway is over. I don't see you that way anymore. Yes, this person is going to feel abandoned by your energy. Okay, they are going to feel abandoned, but you already know this. You already know this. You do. The Empress is not unaware. Ten of Wands, you'll resume a new burden. I'm telling you, some of you needed to get your situations clear before you could do this. Nine of Cups, you will be happy again. Yes, you will. And that's single energy right there. You're working quite literally on your own personal sense of happiness, the Nine of Cups, over the Ace of Wands. This is your new truth and your new pathway, and you feel a great deal better. A great deal better. Judgment. It was a judgment call. I have no doubt. Judgment can mean anything, many things, but here it's judgment call. You had to make a judgment call here, honey. But I will say this, to your credit, even though this took a very long time, you took it very seriously, and you wanted to make sure that you were in a good place before you did this. And it might well be that you just... You didn't want to make any decisions in this energy that's not... I, I think you got very used... I feel like you were trying to mirror your partner, like you two are so used to each other. You were trying to come from this certain space because maybe they would understand it better, but really, this is not who you are. You don't want to contemplate your fire. You want to live in the moment. You want to exist in the moment. You don't want to have to think about it. And that's one of the things, one of the reasons why you had to get back to yourself before you could make this decision. I think some of you Leos really got lost in who you are in this relationship. And that's what you are striving to get back towards. I see you literally cutting off this old Ace of Wands. You are no longer my passion. You are no longer my feeling. I'm drawing several lines in the sand. Yes, you know this. You know someone's going to feel left out by your decision. You know this. Okay, you know this but you are also moving forward. I see the strength of your conviction about why it took so long. And I'm sorry I left you hanging for as long as I did, but I needed to get back in touch with me, okay? And you have a strong new truth with you investing in yourself and you will feel better again, Nine of Cups, because I'm a little concerned, honey. I haven't seen cups for you at all, other than this Two of Cups, which you are actively juggling and trying to make a decision on. Juggle decision, juggle decision, Two of Cups. You took the soul contract very seriously, but it's looking like this particular soul contract has run its course. Okay. Anything else, please? Anything? Okay. Six of Cups. You will feel emotionally balanced again. I, do, I don't see that as the X at all. I see that you reconnecting with family and friends. I do. Okay. Um, like I said, you are going to go back through a rediscovery period of self and what makes you happy and you working on yourself, the Ace of Swords, I do see single energy. Uh, Six of Cups, you might be able to remain friends with this person. Okay, that's also a possibility, but for the most part, I see you feeling joy in yourself again and who you are and what you're about and you going your own way. Okay. Um, no, I don't see the Six of Cups as this person at all. The only time the emotions even came into play is you contemplating the seriousness of your soul contract. That's it. I do see you celebrating again with what looks like family and friends, but mostly your own sense of self-containment, like you are gifting yourself, yes? Any additional, any additional advice, please? Any additional information, please? Mm. Any additional information, please? Or any additional advice, please? I'm sorry this was so painful. Make the effort. And you did. You did. Okay? Children. This is what's interesting. Children can be read in many ways. It could be that there are children involved, and that's part of your decision process and why this was so delayed. There could be a, a kind of childlike concept that predated your relationship with this person or what kept you two together. It could be that there's a considerable age difference between you two, or it could be that someone is simply dependent upon you. It's not that they love you or even have passion for you. It's just that sense of dependency like a child. Okay, which again, on their part, I'm not seeing an overwhelming sense of emotionality or fire for you. Also in the reverse, you two might have become dependent upon each other regardless of children being in the picture. Okay. Leo, I hope this was helpful to you. Put it in the comments as you see fit. Like, share, subscribe as you see fit. I hope this message finds you well. Take care and be well.